Now, the National Science and Maths Quiz is underway, and some very interesting schools are participating this uh, afternoon. We'll bring you highlights because Maxwell Agbaba is our man there. Good afternoon to you, Maxwell. What, which schools are competing right now? Hello, Maxwell. If you can hear me, what schools are competing right now? Yeah, so we have the Presbyterians Boys School, Legon, Presec Legon. They are competing. We also have Yas and Twa Girls. Um, they are also competing. We also have um, Presec in Kotia. They are also competing. You can hear the applause. Um, the contestants are making their way up to the stage. Right now is the time of Presec Legon. And you can see, I mean, this the entire auditorium, I mean, the auditorium is filled to capacity. Um, the RS Amegashi Auditorium is virtually bursting as it seems. Uh, we have people standing outside. There are others also at the basement of the RS Amegashi Auditorium monitoring events here. It's the one eight stage of the competition. It's the elimination stage. So really for the schools, they do not have any chance at all should they place second in this you know, competition. But coming into this competition, we know Presec Legon, they are the favorites. In fact, they've won the National Science and Math Quiz five times and they're looking forward to winning it for the sixth time. Of course, chasing them um, is Premper College. Premper College has won it four times and they're hoping to win it for the fifth time this particular year. So for, um, for, for the boys from Presec Legon, this is the time um, uh, um, to, 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 to get that sit trophy to, for want of a better word, solidify, you know, their win when it comes to uh, 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 the National Science and Mass Quiz. Now, the girls from Yasantua uh, uh, in Kumasi, of course, no girls school has won this competition since it started 25 years ago. I had opportunity to interact with them and the girls told me that they want to do it for the very first time. They were not a seeded school, unlike Presec Legon. In fact, they came all the way from the preliminary stages and I remember in that particular contest, they won with 44 points, um, beating Dwaso Senior High School and then um, 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 another school, Otibuatin Senior High School. They won with 44 points. The second place school um, followed with 16 points and then the third school with 15 points. That huge gap, more than 20 point gap, Yas and Twa Girls, they won that competition at the preliminary stages and now they've made it to the 1A stage. Now, the school, the third school, Presec in Kutia, they are debutants. This is their first time um, in the National Science and Math Quiz, and they're also making, hoping uh, um, to make some impact here. But this auditorium, as I mentioned earlier, Aisha, is full to capacity. Um, I mean, you, you can't get any space when you enter this moment. We are all waiting with bated breath for the contest between Presec Legon, Yas and Twa Girls, and then Presec in Kwitia to commence, Aisha. Thank you very much, Max Alagbagba, for the updates. And you just heard Max Alagbagba with some exciting sounds from the um, ongoing National Math and Science Quiz at the University of Ghana, Legon. But this morning also, Fantiman School met the Nandom Senior High School and the Boga Girls uh, High School here at Essex. You just had three points in all the five rounds. What really went wrong? Are you able to tell us? Yeah, it okay. simply means we have not prepared well. That's why we weren't able to make it. Um, next year, I think our school will do well, and then our juniors come in, they will not repeat the same. Yeah. Well, you, you are quite honest with your answer. She says she thinks you are not prepared for the competition. Um, what about you? It's true. We weren't prepared well, but we're prepared. Yeah, so. We hope that next year they will do something about our juniors when they come to Excel. Uh -huh. So just three points? Three? Yes, that was what we could do. And we did our best and God did the rest. Mm. Yeah. Now, um, before you qualified to the one eight stage, you managed, uh, I mean, you, you qualified with just, um, how many points? 16, 17 points. And this time around, just three points. Uh, 
<laughs> I, I don't know how you're feeling right now. At a point, the supporters were trying to push you, you know, were trying to push you to get to the top, but you were still not getting your answers correct. Yes. It's because we didn't get enough training. Mm. Though we had training, but it wasn't enough for us. Uh -huh. So we didn't get a chance to uh, read other aspects. So because of that, we had to get those points. You, Bogatanga girls, and the Nandom Senior High School, it was obviously a walk in the park for, I mean, for you guys. But you've qualified to the quarterfinals. What should we expect? We should, we should expect the maximum best. I hope that the Lord will give us victory. You think um, 60 points would help you beat other schools? I mean, when you, when you come into competition with the other, you know, big schools? I don't think just the 60 points from this contest would matter much, but we also depend on the Lord for the next contest. Then indeed, God will give us the grace to overcome the other schools. Thanks so much. Um, so you just heard from the uh, from the contestant from Infantipim um, School, and they are hoping to score more points as they progress, you know, in the competition. But Gatanga Girls um, Senior High School, quite honest, telling you that really they did not prepare for this uh, uh, National Science and Math Quiz. Um, in fact, in the preliminary stages, they managed just 17 points, and they were one of the um, uh, lowest. I mean, I mean, they won and qualified because they won their competition with just 17 points. But that, that was the lowest that we, 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 we that was the lowest point that we witnessed in the preliminary stages for any school to qualify to the next stage. And um, here, five rounds, they just scored three points. They Remember to stay on Joy News for all the updates from the National Math and Science Quits. Now, government is rolling out a comprehensive plan that will result in the lifting of ban on small-scale mining. The plan includes reclamation and reafforestation of mined areas, restoration of impacted water bodies, systematic control of engagements of excavators and shank funds in mining areas, among others. Calls for the lifting of the ban imposed in January last year has been intense, with licensed uh, of small-scale miners at the forefront of the call. The interministerial committee taxed with the responsibility of dealing with activities of illegal miners, also known as Galamse, say more work needs to be done. Now, addressing a review uh, conference of traditional rulers and other identifiable bodies on mining, President Ekufuado said the ban will be lifted soon, called for a more regulated and supervised sector. Chairman of the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining, Professor Kwabna Frimpong Boateng, called on chiefs to expose foreigners engaging in illegal mining in their various traditional areas. Now, the president of the National House of Chiefs, Togwe Afede, also was clear, and he says some of his fellow chiefs, politicians, and members of the security agencies are frustrating the efforts of the operational Vanga team to stop illegal mining. 